Hello, and welcome to Are You Reading Me? The literary salon on my vlog with no name. And today I would like to talk to you about Soumission by Michel Houellebecq, the celebrated French author who won the Prix Goncourt in the year 2012 for another book he wrote. This book, Soumission, which is submission in English, uh, is set in France 2022, so uh, in the near future, uh, where the Muslim Brotherhood has won the presidency. And the main character is a university lecturer, a middle-aged uh, male intellectual, who is really, in many ways, quite unremarkable and uh, the novel follows uh, his path as uh, this new Muslim government uh, comes to power and changes, sets about changing the country and indeed um, Europe. And um, so this is a highly topical book, uh, very off the moment, and um, it, uh, it starts with a, with a premise, uh, that of a Muslim French president, which, which sounds uh, quite unlikely in the short term at least, but um, everything else that follows from it is entirely, seems entirely, is presented in a way that's entirely plausible, and it's a hugely enjoyable read as well. Now, um, what did, what did I take out of it? Uh, it's not so much an attack, a xenophobic attack on Islam, uh, as it is perhaps an even, even uh, a, a vicious attack on the decadence of the West. Uh, France, contemporary France and, and our society uh, are mercilessly portrayed as vain, lacking in family spirit, spiritually empty, and... Um, well, utterly decay decayed and ripe for um, destruction or uh, being replaced by something else uh, stronger. That's basically the gist of the book. And um, it also offers a fascinating, it's a fascinating thought experiment of what uh, a Muslim government in Europe could look like, what its priorities might be, um, what kind of social change it would uh, engender. So I don't want to give away too much, but um, I definitely recommend that you go out and buy this book, Submission, by Michel Welbeck. And um, leave your comments in the comment box, comment comments box um, under this video. Tell me what you thought about this uh, very important book, which, by the way, was on the cover of uh, Charlie Hebdo magazine on the day uh, their, um, their offices were so brutally attacked by some crazed Islamist terrorists. <laughs>